Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's turkey time once again. Last time around, we saw the Turkish film industry's take on Spider-Man, which turned the popular American superhero into a knife-wielding psychopath who got off when puppets watched him having sex. And this time around, we get to see their take on that most all-American of superheroes, co-created by a Canadian, Superman. And it's just in time for Man of Steel to be released on DVD and Blu-ray for a couple of days now. All right, so my timing isn't exactly perfect, but give me a break. I was busy with Halloween month. When I think of scary movies, I don't really think Superman, except for maybe Superman 4. But in any case, I'm doing it now. So let's get ready for the Turkish take on the superhero who fights for truth, justice, and the American way. Kind of. <laughs> So as you may have guessed, Turkish Superman is exactly what it claims to be, namely a Turkish-made version of Superman. But unlike Turkish Spider-Man, which was made before any of the American Spider-Man movies, this movie came out in 1979, one year after the first Christopher Reeve Superman movie. But one of the translations of the movie's Turkish title is Superman Returns, so I guess you could say they were ahead of the curve in that regard, for better or for worse. But hey, listen, just like with all these other Turkish movies, it's not enough to just talk about it. You need to see these things for yourself. So let's forget about the background and just get to the movie, shall we? So the movie begins in the Christmas ornament galaxy, apparently. I guess the filmmakers wanted to one-up Star Crash in the festive-looking space department. And the narration presumably tells us about Superman's origin. <laughs> Hey, so that's what happened to my Superman bed sheets. You give that back, you bastards. Now, now don't play the American Superman theme. If YouTube hears a John Williams track, they're gonna delete the sound of my video. I guess it's no surprise that this movie had a troubled production. I hear one of the actors could be a real cocksucker. And if that wasn't enough, the movie's brought to us courtesy of Cunt Films. Because apparently the filmmakers thought having an actor named Cocksucker wasn't giving me enough material. Alright, now if there's anybody out there watching who finds the C word offensive, don't worry. It's alright, because in this case it starts with a K. After the credits, we then cut to Kansas... Turkey, I guess, where we see Superman living with his parents under his secret identity as Turkish Eddie Deason. Ne oldu baba? Geçmiş olsun. Pek büyük bir şey değil Tayfun. I'm not really sure what they're talking about, but my guess is that it has something to do with asking Clark to move out of the house and get a job since he's 35 years old. Now, before I go any further, yes, I am aware that there's a version of this movie out there that has subtitles, but fuck that. Half the fun of watching these movies is trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm not about to throw that away for some trivial benefit like understanding what the characters are saying. And besides, this way I can just add my own subtitles. Ne oldu baba? Geçmiş olsun. Bundan sonraki yaşantını sen seçeceksin. İlk gazeteci olarak çalışacağım. Biliyorum. Bak Tayfun. Sana bir sır açıklayacağım. Seçtim bile. I don't know what they were actually saying there, but I like to imagine it went something like that. His parents give him a piece of kryptonite, or maybe it's supposed to be that green crystal thingy he found in the barn? I don't know, the budget's a little limited, so I guess it'll have to be both. And he decides to leave home. One will be seated during the thrilling packing up scene. Oh, uh, by the way, Clark, I think that carpet is supposed to go on the floor. He eventually makes it to the Fortress of National Park after visiting hours, although I think some of the plumbing there might be a little faulty. Uh, that's funny, I didn't know dripping water could be crunchy. Oh, holy shit! The crystal was actually a Turkish Marlon Brando grenade. Kripto'nun bütün laneti senin başına yağar. İyi ama siz nereden çıktınız? Maziden çıktım evladım. Hazreti Süleyman'ın zekası. Benim adım da... 
Well, we're 10 minutes in. Time to get done with all this origin bullshit and have him become Superman. Yeah, Clark Kent may look like a 98-pound weakling, but as Superman, he still looks like he's about 98 pounds. And hey, how about these effects? You will believe a doll can fly. Well, that's enough stock footage from the Turkish Tourism Board. It's time to introduce our bad guy. Wait a second, is that supposed to be Lex Luthor? This guy doesn't look anything like him. In fact, Turkish Spider-Man had a better Lex Luthor than this movie, and I'm pretty sure that guy wasn't actually supposed to be Lex Luthor. They couldn't get that actor to come back for this movie? This guy looks more like Turkish Christopher Plummer, which means he should have been the bad guy in Turkish Star Trek. Turkish Lex Luthor plans to use the Kryptonite Stone to power his film projector, presumably so that they can finish watching Superman and decide which footage they want to use. Never mind that, though. Clark needs to start his new job at the Daily Dunya. No, no, no. Is that supposed to be Lois? I told you to get Turkish Margot Kidder, not Turkish Deborah Messing. Try again. We also get to see more of Superman's powers, such as... Super... Typing. Superman. Thrill as he finishes his TPS report before lunchtime. Gasp in amazement as he ducks out of work early to grab a sandwich at his local deli. Wow, I think Lois drives my first car. If that's the case, I sure hope Canadian Tire gives her that 50 cent race she's been asking for. The bad guys decide to capture Lois, which leads to a thrilling 20 mile per hour car chase. I'm not really sure what these guys want with Lois, but I do know that they are seriously holding up traffic. Hurry up, will ya? This guy's late for work! What's that? Lois is in trouble? Hmm, this looks like a job for... Uh, where's the camera? Oh, there it is. Superman! Superman better hurry up and stop that truck. I think the crew members are getting tired of shaking the car back and forth. Oh, and how's Superman going to stop it? Is he going to, like, stand in front of it and use his super strength? Nope. He just uses his power of putting on the super emergency brake. Now, that may seem like a boring solution to that problem, but in this guy's defense, I'm pretty sure the filmmakers just put that actor on an out-of-control truck and just started rolling the cameras. Win-win situation for them. If something went wrong, they could just use the footage for Turkish Faces of Death. Oh, right, the rescue. Uh, excuse me, I think the soundtrack's on fire. Well, that's enough excitement for one day. Superman's got to demonstrate some of his other powers, like super pervert vision. <laughs> Superman! Thrill as he tries to hide the fact that he came in his pants while at work. Meanwhile, Luther conducts another kidnapping. I'm not really sure who this guy is, but if I had to guess, I think he's Robert Shaw from Turkish Jaws. Wait a second, why is this guy a henchman? Just get him to trim the walrus mustache a little bit and he could have been Lex Luthor. Superman eventually comes in, and we get to see some more of his superpowers, like a super pimp hand and the fact that he's impervious to bullets that are thrown at him. Hey, come on, Superman, leave Turkish Sonny Bono alone. What the hell? Okay, so apparently chairs are Superman's weakness in this movie. Uh-oh, Superman better wake up quick or else that guillotine will... probably do absolutely nothing because he's Superman. Oh look, the guillotine didn't do anything. What a surprise. I guess the fact that it's made out of plywood probably helped. Well, the bad guys got away. Time to chase after them, or just go back to work, whatever. Meanwhile, Luther holds a meeting with, um, other crime bosses or something? I don't know, I'm just guessing here. For all I know, this is a club where these guys get together and compare mustaches. Size bir müjdem var. Krypton taşının ne şekilde oluştuğunu buldum. Oh, and if you thought that was some dramatic music, check this out. Shit, not only is he Superman, he's Turkish James Bond, too. Lois ends up getting captured again, but fortunately, Clark has super plot convenience powers. 
Well, at least the music's getting a little funkier. Sounds like he's about to drive into a Kraftwerk video. Oh, and how about this? Apparently Superman's powers include the ability to see back in time. You know, I would make fun of that more, but considering the American Superman movie had him turning back time by reversing the rotation of the Earth, this is actually pretty believable in comparison. What's less believable is that Lois gets away by snatching the keys right out of the ignition and then using the same trick you play on your dog when you pretend to throw a tennis ball. Superman chases after them using his... super... jogging, I guess. But the good news is, is that they appear to have ran right into a black exploitation movie. Oh, and another thing. Superman apparently doesn't care if this guy falls to his death. Superman! Watch in amazement as he lets a man fall to his doom. Whatever, he kidnaps Superman's girlfriend. Fuck that guy. Superman takes Lois back to her car and sends her on her way. They would have done that scene where they fly together like in the other Superman movie, but the producer's daughter wouldn't let him borrow one of her Barbie dolls. I doubt that it would have done any good though, since almost immediately Lois gets captured again. Man, Barbarella didn't get captured this much. <laughs> Oh no! The bad guy is really the guy we knew all along was the bad guy! Superman goes to rescue her as Clark rather than Superman. I guess the suit needed to be dry clean that day or something. In any case, he doesn't seem to have much trouble, since Turkish Mark Messier here just lets him right in. <laughs> oh gee, I wonder if that guy with the wooden board will be able to take out Superman. Probably not, because he's fucking Superman! What? What the hell is going on here? First he gets knocked out by a chair and now this? What, is Superman's weakness pieces of wood in this movie or something? It's almost like I have no idea what the hell is going on or something. Clark gets tied up, but after the bad guys leave, he escapes and reveals to Lois that he's Superman. So I guess maybe getting knocked out was really a ruse. Hey, that's pretty clever. Almost as effective as just showing up as Superman and getting all the bad guys in the first place. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, Lois, but I still need to beat up Turkish David Johansson. And Superman totally just killed that guy. Didn't the people who made this know anything about Superman? He's not supposed to kill henchmen. He's supposed to level an entire city, then cry like a little bitch when he has to kill the bad guy. That's the real Superman. Alright, as far as I can tell, the climax of the movie involves Superman trying to stop two trains that have been hijacked and are headed straight for each other. Considering the runaway truck scene appeared to use a real runaway truck, I don't even want to know what the producers did to get this scene. Well, I see the editor from Turkish Spider-Man returned for this movie. Seriously, what is with the editing in these movies? They'll barely have one scene established, and then all of a sudden they'll just randomly cut... ...something else for no reason. You know, considering that actor was probably just told to stand in between two trains that were coming closer together and could have easily been crushed if the conductor made a mistake, I really hope he was paid decently. But I know he wasn't. Meanwhile, Luther has got the kryptonite stone, apparently, and he puts it in his machine and demonstrates its incredible power to... turn pens into different colored pens. Oh, and it has animal cruelty powers, so I guess there's that. My god. With my different colored pens and ability to blow up cats, I'll be the most powerful man in the world! <laughs> Superman comes in to stop him, but Luther uses the ray on him and gets away. Superman! 
thrill as he convulses on the floor and lets the bad guy get away. Oh, I'm just kidding. Of course Superman stops him. Hey, the music's starting to get kind of badass. No way you live, Luther. No way. Um, is he using his x-ray vision on Luther? Oh, never mind. I guess he's just using his super freeze vision. You know, because that's totally something Superman can do. Right? Right? Yeah. So Luther is arrested and Superman saves the day, but not before delivering one final message. I have to go now. My planet needs me. So that's Turkish Superman. Yeah, you're right, movie. That was a cunt film. Overall, Turkish Superman delivered most of the same things that Turkish Spider-Man did. It had action, effects, a questionable regard for its actor's safety, but there's one notable exception. No sex scene. That means I can't even make a faster than a speeding bullet joke. Ah oh well, I guess you can't have everything. Well, that's all for now. Until next-